so my name is Sufi Warsan David. I live in uh, district Bandipura of Jammu and Kashmir. I come from a very small village called Brar Bandipura. My family is a joint family. I have with my with me uh, my father, my mother, my brother, uh, sister, uncle and aunt, and uh, my grandmother. My parents are uh, government employees. Uh, my father is a government teacher, and my mother is a W worker. My sister read in class 11th, and my uh, brother is preparing for the JE mains examination. So it was actually a childhood incident. Uh, when I was six to seven years old, my grand uh, my grandfather he was uh, going to the doctor, and I was also with him. So uh, when I saw uh, this, uh, when I saw that doctor, I I thought that I also want to become a doctor. Uh, it was that point that this idea stuck into into my mind and. Uh, I uh, started aiming to become a doctor. So my parents also wanted me to be a doctor. They all also wanted, they, they had this dream and uh, they wanted me to do that. So basically the human body is very uh, fascinating. It fascinates you when you learn about it. Uh, you learn about the, um, you can say the diseases and you want to treat them. You want to see how it can be treated and all those kind of things. And uh, I was, as I said, I, when I was with my grandfather and I was going to the doctor and it always fascinated me that I, I also wanted to become that. Uh, well, uh, my cousin, he was enrolled in Akash. So uh, he told me about AIATS examination that was uh, going to be held in November. And when I gave it for the very first time, I thought this is giving me the exam oriented feeling. So. From that, I chose Akash. Yeah, I have heard about Enthe, but I haven't given that examination. It's actually, I think it's a scholarship test. And I heard it through social media, I think. My preparation strategy was simple, that I had to uh, take the lectures, uh, make the notes out of it, and later on make short notes also. Give the examinations and give the tests actually, and analyze those and learn from the mistakes. I think it's a matter of time. It's a matter of time management. If you are able to manage the time, it's very simple. Well, in board examinations, you can see there are, there is more or less it's about 30. And in the NEET examination, it's about uh, uh, marking the right answer in the MCQ. So uh, for the board examination, I would think that uh, if you have read the concept very well, you can, um, you can answer that in your own words. And you can actually prepare for the NEET and through that you can prepare for the board examinations also. So actually, NCRT textbook shouldn't be uh, studied fastly. It should be studied in a very calm manner. Patiently, you just have to understand each and every word. And when you are very familiar with the NCRT uh, lines, it becomes then easier for you to revise it again and again. So I would think, I would say that firstly, read it very patiently and then go through it uh, in a very fast manner. So actually, the last month is very crucial actually. It is uh, the time when you are revising. So the strategy is simple, that you have to revise again and again. Revise as much as you can and give tests as much as you can. Uh, Akash helped me in terms I was giving FTS examination. So uh, that helped me a lot. It helped me to revise the whole uh, syllabus of the need. Akash test series helped in uh, revising the concepts, revising the total syllabus of the need. Especially the FTS during the last leg of the preparation. It helped in um, analyzing the questions, analyzing my mistakes, and uh, it helped also in those questions which I thought it's not written in NCRT, but they were written in NCRT. So there are certain questions which makes you feel that you have to read NCRT in this manner. So the struggle was about I was not, I'm not that kind of a student that I can go to the hostel and stay there for a very long time, uh, especially in Srinagar. I'm, I live in Bandipora, which is around 50 kilometers away from Srinagar and the ma main branch of Akash is there. So I couldn't go there for, the, for giving the test. So my uncle was with, with me and uh, he uh, was driving the car and we were going to the Akash uh, center to give the examination. So this was a kind of hurdle during the last few months. Well, neat preparation is all about stress. It's about uh, managing the time and all those kind of things. Uh, sometimes you get demotivated also. But for the motivation, there are in your surrounding, you can see that people are working hard for you, especially your parents, your, your peers, they are working for you and you get motivated from, from that. My hobbies are actually, I 
I'm I I watch cricket a lot. So actually, I watch I watch cricket. I watch the main tournaments. Especially, I like sports also. But I'm not that kind of a person that I will play those sports. But yeah, I like those sports. So this is kind of a hobby for me. So basically, time management is very important for the need preparation. Uh, the backlogs, the procrastination, they are very common during this uh, phase. But I would. I am also the student, that kind of a student who will procrastinate and backlog. Uh, there are lots of backlogs uh, over there. So I would complete that in the ho during the holidays or during the Sundays, whenever it was off from the lectures. So that was my mission to complete those backlogs and uh, and move forward in the need, uh, journey. So lowest point basically uh, it was I gave need also last year in 2023. And I scored 588 marks, and that was that marks that uh, I couldn't get any medical colleges. So it was actually a sad moment, I would say, a low point in my journey. And then uh, when I started in the next year in 2024, when I started scoring better, so I felt good, and it was basically the highest point, I would say. So there are lots of lots of times that when you uh, get very low score and you get demotivated. But actually, it's the curiosity. You can see there is curiosity to score more and more and more. Uh, you want to learn from those mistakes that you did during that preparation. So it's actually the curiosity, I would say. I think Akash helped me a lot. Um, I changed a lot when I was giving the tests, especially AITS and FTS. I also give certain papers of uh, intensives, intensive program, and they were really, uh, I would say, that changed me, that molded me into something that I uh, I am right now. Uh, if I am scoring good, I am, that's because of the Akash. Well, everybody knows that uh, practice makes a man perfect. It's a very common saying. And the practice, the source for practice for me was Akash. So through Akash, I gave lots and lots of tests and that helped me uh, in, uh, in making my, my score good. So basically, I am an online student. So I couldn't have an, any kind of interaction with the, stu with the teachers. So I, um, it was a virtual screen in front of me. So it was basically me self-motivating, self-studying and all those kind of things. My advice will be that simple that uh, you give the regular lectures and give regular tests. Learn from the mistakes that you do in, the, in those tests. Um, keep motivating yourself throughout the journey. Stay focused. Be away from the social media and any kind of distractions. Uh, never give up. It's a time. It's, there will be hardships. There will be you feel that you are very high and sometimes you will feel very low. So these up and, uh, up and downs are very uh, common in NEET examination, NEET journey actually. So uh, stay focused and uh, keep hard working and never give up and best of luck also.